So we see in these four days, the stock jumped up 14.29%. Now I listen to a lot of these experts who speak about stocks on TV and other places, maybe in videos, and they're talking about a gain of 10 or 15% in a year. If you pick fundamentally sound stocks at their low price and they're moving up, you could make up that, that same amount in no time. So, hey guys, this is July 8th through July 12th winning stocks. And we see that the market moved up again this week. We see that with the SPY, it had another winning week. I should say the S&P 500. It had another winning week to go to its highest point yet. And when we go to the Dow, we see that the Dow actually moved up, went down, and now it's finally moved back up to that point. And for the NASDAQ, it was a negative week, but slightly negative. It really didn't drop that much. So we actually saw the things on our watch list take a move up. And talking about the things on our watch list, we want to take a jump over and look at the Stock Sage app. And so we said that the Stock Sage app actually checks the 52 week low that's the annual low price of the stock market every day and pulls up the stocks on that 52 week low that have three or more of the last of the previous five years with positive earnings and then from that point you are able to sort that list down by things to choose even more fundamentally sound stocks. And why do we do that? We do that because we know stock prices go up when more people are buying than selling. They go down when more people are selling than buying. And we know that if we buy bullish, we want them moving up. And if we choose fundamentally sound stocks, they tend to move up because there are very smart investors out there. They're called institutional investors. And they tend to hot buy and hold when they're fundamentally sound stocks. So by narrowing our list down and getting the stocks that are fundamentally sound, we're able to have a better advantage in the market because these stocks start moving up. And so since I've started using the Stock Sage app, now that this week was a pretty good week for the markets, we're going to take a look at some of the things. We're going to take a look at the results of some of the stocks that were chosen by the Stock Sage app. Because with the Stock Sage app, if you click on this little printer here, then click on the PDF, you can actually get a PDF of whatever stock you're analyzing. And not only can you get that PDF, 
you can actually save it. So I've been saving the results of my watch list and we're going to look at some of those in this week's winning stocks. And we'll start with RCI Hospitality. Now, we know the stocks on my watch list I like to break down into three tiers. Three stars, which is the most fundamentally sound. Two stars, which are beneath that. And one star, which is the least fundamentally sound. RCI Hospitality is a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 7th or later that week. And we know an earnings report can be like going to a casino. If it comes out good, the stock price can really jump up. If it comes out bad, the stock price can drop. In any event, RCI Hospitality had a decent week this week. They just moved up for one week. They're currently at $44.69. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $98 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a $119 and 29, 119.29% gain. Now, RCI Hospitality, we see I did a screenshot of um, it pulling up in Stock Sage. That was when RCI Hospitality was at $39.10. Now, it's at $44.69 and that was um, a move up from July 8th until now, July 12th, which is four days later. So we see in these four days, the stock jumped up 14.29%. Now, I listen to a lot of these experts who speak about stocks on TV and other places, maybe in videos, and they're talking about a gain of 10 or 15% in a year. If you pick fundamentally sound stocks at their low price and they're moving up, you could make up that, that same amount in no time. So here's a 14.29% gain in four days. Not on the option which has higher percentages, but on the stock itself. Next, we have Varex Imaging. Remember, all of these stocks were found through StockSage. Varex Imaging is a one star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 30th or later that week. And they are currently at $14.55. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $23.25 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 59.79% gain. Now, they were at $14.36 when we did the analysis on them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $14.55. That was from July 4th. That was eight days ago. It's just a 1.32% gain. 1.32%, yeah. 
We have Pelocity. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st. And they're moving up for their second week. They're currently at $140.06 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $185.54 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 32.47% gain. We caught Paylocity in Stock Sage when they were at $130.69. Right now, they're at $140.06. They were caught on July 1st, 11 days ago. That is a 7.16% gain in that short time. We have Steven Otto Group. Steven Otto Group is a one star. They are currently at $21.71 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $28.80. 28 cents a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 30.26% gain. But notice, they had a couple of positive weeks and then a really nice week this week. So let's see where they're at. They were at $18.53 when Stock Sage caught them. Now they're at $21.71. That Now, they were, when Stock Sage caught them, that was July 6th. Now it's July 12th, six days later, and they have a 17.16% gain in those um, six days. We have Diageo. Diageo makes all kinds of alcohol. They are a one star. They have an earnings report dropping July 30th or later that week. Now, they're up for their second positive week. They are currently at $131.65 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $150.32 in the next 12 months. If they do, that would be a 14.18% gain. Now, they were at $128.28 when we caught them in Stock Sage. That was July 8th, four days ago. Now they're at $131.65. That's a 2.62% gain in those four days. It's about normal. We have Southside Bank shares. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 25th. They are currently at $28.75 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $31.33 a share in the next 12 months. That would be a 8.97% gain. Now, when we caught them in Stock Sage, they were at $26.65. Now they're at $28.75. 
that is a 7.87% gain in four days. We have Patria Investments. They are a two-star. They currently have an earnings report dropping on August 1st or later that week. And we see that they've moved up for the second week. They're currently at $12.73 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $18.93 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 48.70% increase. Now, when we caught this stock in Stock Sage, they were at $12.12 a share. Now they're at $12.73 a share. That is a 5.03% return. And I would say a little under a month. We have Haverty Furnitures. You may have never heard of Haverty Furniture but some of the furniture that they make, you very well may have heard of, like Tempur-Pedic and so forth. In any event, they are two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 30th or later that week. And we see they had one positive week so far when this stock is currently at $25.08 a share, Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $36.67 in the next 12 months. If they do that, it'll be a 46.21% increase. Now, Havity Furniture, when we caught them, they were at $23.69. Now they're at $25.08. That's a 5.86% increase in two days from July 10th to July 12th. We have Agco Corporation. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 30th. And they've had one positive week so far since dropping a bit. They're currently at $98.05 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $124.50 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 26.98% increase. Now, when we caught this stock in Stock Sage, they were at $94.99 a share. Now they're at $98.05. That's a 3.22% increase in four days from the 8th to the 12th. We have Diamond Hill Investment Group. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st or later that week. They've had, well, this is their second positive week. Yahoo analysts didn't have an estimate on this stock. But my conservative estimate based on P-E ratio is that they can go up to $164.49. 
in the next 12 months, that would be an 11.81% increase. This stock was $140.97 when we caught it in Stock Sage. Now it's at $147.12. That is a 4.36% increase in under a month. We have energy recovery. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 31st or later that week. We see that they've had one positive week, but it was a, a heck of a week. It moved up pretty nicely. They're currently at $14.37 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $20.50 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 42.66% increase. When we caught energy recovery in Stock Sage, they were at $13.02 a share. Now they're at $14.37. That is a 10.36% return in under a month. We caught them on June 24th, and it's July 12th now, so under a month. We have market access holdings. They are a three-star. And they have an earnings report dropping on July 18th or later that week. We see that they've moved up for like three weeks straight now, but only slight moves. They're currently at $212.85 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $230.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be an 8.37% increase. When we caught this stock in Stock Sage, it was at $193.43 a share. Now it's at $212.85. That is a 10.03% increase in under a month from July 26 to now, from June 26 to now, July 12th. <coughs> we have Tatron Components. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 12th. They're currently at $2.91 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $3.22 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 10.65% increase. Now, they had two positive weeks, but only slightly positive. Then they had a bigger move this last week. So let's see what they're at. We caught them at $2.65 in Stock Sage. Now they're at $2.91. That is a 9.81% increase in under a month. Then we have Titan Machinery. They are a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 29th or later that week. They're currently at $16.11 a share. 
Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $25.20 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 56.42% increase. When we caught Titan machinery inside of Stock Sage, it was $15.26. Now at $16.11, that's a 5.57% increase in 11 days. We have UPS, that's United Parcel Service. They are a two star, and they have an earnings report dropping on July 23rd. They're currently at $142.35 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $159.93. If they do, that'll be a 12.35% increase. When we caught them in Stock Sage, they were at $135.42. Now they're at $142.35. That is a 5.11% increase in a month, about a, under a month. We have Yum China Holdings. That's KFC, Pizza Hut, and Taco Bell, but in China, not in America. Yum China Holdings is a one star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 29th or later that week. They've had one positive week that we've seen and they're currently at $32.12 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them going up to $51.84 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 61.39% increase. Yum China Holdings was at $30.48 when we caught them in Stock Sage. Now they're at $32.12. That is a 5.38% return in two days. We have Pool Corporation. They are a two star. They have an earnings support dropping on July 25th. Now they're currently at $328.40 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate, and this may be a conservative estimate, so there may be more room for this to move up, but Yahoo analysts estimate this stock can go up to $333.53 in the next 12 months. That will be a 1.56% increase is how much further it could go up. In any event, when we caught this stock in Stock Sage, it was at $297.95. Now it's at $328.40. So that was a 10.21% increase on this stock since we caught it in Stock Sage two days ago. We have Where Food Comes From. They actually inspect a lot of the farms and stuff that make food. In any event, they're a three-star. 
They haven't earned support dropping on August 8th or later that week. They are currently at $11.70 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate on them. But my estimate is $12.40 a share based on P ratio. That will be a 5.98% increase. This stock was at $10 when we caught it in Stock Sage. Now at $11.70. That is a 17% increase in eight days. Then we have Deer and Company. Deer and Company is a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 16th or later that week. They're currently at $365.33 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $426.84 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 16.84% increase. Deer and Company was $348.84 when we caught it in Stock Sage. Now it's at $365.33. That is a 4.72% increase in three days. We have Marine Products Corporation. They make boats recreational vehicles. They're a three star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 24th or later that week. They're currently at $9.78 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate on them, but my estimate based on P ratio is that they can move up to 15.18% 15 point 18 $15.18 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 55.21% increase. Now this stock was $8.99 a share when we caught them in Stock Sage. Now at $9.78, they've moved up 8.78% in three days from July 9th to July 12th. And we have Tegna. Now, Tegna is one that I personally own, I personally bought from the suggestion of Stock Sage, and we see that in the last four weeks they've had three positive ones. They're a two star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 7th. They're at $14.95 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $19.13 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 27.96% increase. When we caught this stock in Stock Sage, they were at $12.72 a share. Now they're at $14.95. So that was a 17.53% increase in under a month. Now for the rest of those on our watch list, we may have got some from Stock Sage, but we didn't pull them up through Stock Sage. 
or I should say didn't save them from Stock's Age because we didn't see them moving up. That was Utah Medical Products. They're a, U, they're a three star. They have an earnings report dropping July 23rd or later that week. They're currently at $68.63 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate on them. But my estimate based on P ratio is that they can move up to $90.27 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 31.53% increase. Then we have CSG Systems. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping August 7th. They're currently at $42.22 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $65.56 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 55.28% increase. We have Concentrics Corporation. They're actually not on our watch list, which is why you don't see any stars there. But they have an earnings report dropping on September 25th or later that week. They've had a few positive weeks, but only slightly. They're currently at $69.99 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $88.80 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 26.88% increase. We have Interparfums. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 6th or later that week. They had a very positive week this last week. They're at $129.43 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $165.40 in the next 12 months. That will be a 27.79% increase. We have Dine Brands Global. Um, they are a two-star. They own popular restaurants, I believe, IHOP and Applebee's. In any event, they have an earnings report dropping August 1st or later that week. They're currently at $33.97 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $52.25 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 53.81% increase. They haven't really started moving up yet. But if you see this last candlestick here, you see a long tail at the bottom. It's slightly positive. So that could be a good sign. We want to see if it moves up going forward. Information Services Group. They are not on our watch list. They're a no star. But they have an earnings report dropping on August 5th. They're currently at $3.15 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $6.08 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 93.02% increase. We have Heritage Global. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 8th. 
and you'll see the last four weeks have been positive weeks. They're currently at $2.50, so 56 cents a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $4.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be an 82.42% increase. We have Innovative Solutions. They are a three-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 7th or later that week. And they're currently at $6.12 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate, but my estimate based on P-E ratio is that they can move up to $8.08 .08 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 32.03% increase. Gambling.com They are a one star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 15th or later that week. They're currently at $8.48 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $12.96 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 51.65% increase. Myers Industries. They are a two star. They currently have an earnings report dropping on August 1st. They are, they had a nice week this week. They're at $13.93 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $30 in the next 12 months. If they do, that'll be a 115.36% increase. We have W&T Offshore, WTI, almost a commodity for oil. They've been moving up slightly for the last few weeks. They have an earnings support dropping on July 30th or later that week. And notice, they're not fundamentally sound enough to be on our watch list. So no stars. But they're currently at $2.41 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $10 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 314.94% increase. We have Cisco Systems. They are a three-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 14th or later that week. And this stock is currently at $47.38 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $54.69 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 15.43% increase so guys that's it for our this week's winning stocks this week i look forward to speaking to you in the next video and have a great rest of your day speak to you in the next video